Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Behavior here again. This time I'm here for my review slash recap slash opinion for Dragon Ball Super Episode 108, Frieza and Frost, the Conjine Malice. And um, I was really looking forward to this episode and I had very, very high expectations. Um, I just got done watching it. I was going to watch it again first before I got here on camera, but I was like, nah, let me just go ahead and uh, talk about how I feel right now because I wanted to be fresh. But like I said, I had really high expectations for this episode because of uh, Freezer and Frost. They're both evil. They're both villains or whatever. And they both have a huge disdain for Saiyans. And so this was like the perfect opportunity for them to stab Universe 7 in the back going after Gohan. And so, you know, I was just really interested in seeing how this episode was going to play out since the very beginning of the uh, tournament. Of power because you know they join forces right before the uh, tournament began and I was just always asking myself like even at the end of last week when I watched the recap at, at 107 I was just saying to myself I mean like there's 30 minutes left in a tournament and then they're going to team up then so like what's going to happen is Beerus going to get involved is he going to you know do the Kai and just destroy them is the Omni King going to destroy them and so you know those were just kind of like the expectations that I had you know, going into this. And like I said, I was very, very, very really, really, really impressed. Um, not only just because it was a great episode is uh, it started out kind of slow for me or whatever. And it really didn't pick up. And you're probably feeling the same way until after the second uh, half of the episode. But besides, you know, everything with Jimenez, uh, if that's his name from Universe 2, the guy that can do the instant transmission with him and Gohan, Frieza and Frost, we did also get to see a little bit more like we got to see for a brief, brief moment topo versus kaba and topo knocked the hell out of little kaba i thought you know when they showed that in the uh in the preview of last week i thought that was gonna knock kaba uh out of the ring when they you know showed topo about to punch him and i would have been fine with that you know because i mean kaba's he's cool but i'm not in love with the guy so and, and i am a friend of uh, topo i like him so we got to see that we got to see a little bit of goku uh, fighting Rebrand, and even though I'm just not really a big fan of Rebrand as a character, for some reason I still respect her as a character. You know, uh, she's just fat and annoying, but I still respect her. She's just like, hey, I don't care. You know, I'm not giving up. Y'all guys knocked out uh, my homies. I'm all about that love, love power, and you know, she was she was doing that or whatever. You know, it was corny or whatever, but I liked it still. You know, and um. The st still thing that's crazy is, you know, she does appear weak because she's fighting on her transformed ability and Goku is just in his base form. But, you know, maybe she's still holding back. Um, they really are stretching this out. I kind of thought that they would have been done with a while ago or even the last time. But, you know, this is like the third episode, I think, that Ribrian is popping up, you know, with her uh, love power or whatever. And. Uh, we got to see a little bit of uh, her universe gods. I forget what is this name? The her uh, god of destruction's name. I think it was Halal or Halal or something like that. Um, I did not like the uh, the way the um, the uh, Kaioshin of that universe looked. That that look, did he, I don't. I mean, not the way he looked, the way his voice sounded or whatever. But anyway, let's get to the main point, which is. Um, uh, Frost versus uh, Jimenez and you know what I don't like is is the I, I'll be honest with you you know I'm a fan of Dragon Ball and all that but at the same time there's still some inconsistency with the power levels in Dragon Ball Super I, I still like the show I mean of course you know I'm, I'm doing a review recap giving you my opinion but it's like when go when Jimenez first approached um Goku in the Tournament of Power, I believe it was the fourth episode of the Tournament of Power. Um, you know, he was doing this transmission, you know, teleporting around, laughing, and then uh, Khalifa just came and kicked the hell out of him, and he flew across the stage. You know, and that's Khalifa, and we know Gohan is stronger than Khalifa. But then we have Gohan struggling with uh, Jimenez, and I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't care even if Gohan is in his base form. Um, was Well, because I, I could be wrong, and let me know in the comments. I'm, what, when Khalifa knocked the hair out of Jimenez, was she Super Saiyan, or was she... I don't think... No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't Super Saiyan at that time, I don't think. I don't... Yeah. Um, because, yeah, because that was right before she fought Goku, so... 
if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I'm just like, how can Khalifa just come and kick Jimenez across the stage, but then Gohan struggle or whatever? That really is annoying to me. Like this, that inconsistency or whatever. But the episode did pick back up right after that because that's when uh, we had Frost come over and then, you know, Freezer dropped in. And at that moment, I really didn't know how the episode was going to turn out or whatever. I mean, I just, it, it, you know, it was a coin toss. And I was just like, I had to get to the edge of my seat like, okay, man, hold up. You know, how is this going to play out or whatever? So great job to the writers as far as, you know, keeping that suspense level up right there and just making everything just unpredictable because, I just really did not know whose side Freeze was on. Because he was just standing there, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just like not doing anything. You know, and our Kyle Shin and Beerus and uh and uh Weiss and Krillin and Roshi, you know, they was all putting their two cents in and they, you know, it, that was, you know, it didn't make like I, I really don't understand because Beerus was asking the right questions at the right time. Like, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. He knows that if he don't win, he gonna get erased too. And you know, Wiz was like, "Well, you know, maybe he wants to last to the end so that he can, you know, um, get the Super Dragon Ball wish, you know, to wish that he can kill a god or something like that." But at the same time, didn't Goku and him make a deal to where he can only get the Earth Dragon Balls and not the Super Dragon Balls? Um, I don't necessarily remember. Please let me know in the comment section below um, if I'm getting that mixed up or whatever. You know, but um, I, I did, um, you know, I, I liked it because, you know, he threw that, you know, he went over to the side or whatever, you know, and let them fight. And I was just like, OK, what's going on? But then he, you know, he intervened or whatever. And then he stopped uh, Frost from, you know, blasting Gohan. You know, he shot the beam or whatever. And I'm just like, man, you know, what's going on? You know, I just don't know. And then somebody put in that dialogue like, hey, he just wanted him to fight first so he can get him tired and get him exhausted so they can eliminate him or whatever. But then, no, Frieza went over there and punched Gohan. And when they kind of did that little thing like that, I was like, maybe they're just playing or whatever, you know. So I was like, I figured it out or whatever. But then when they both transformed and he went golden and he did like that axe kick on the back of Gohan's neck, I was like, damn, you know, like. Frieza really did turn on um, on Universe 7. Like, this is crazy or whatever. And also what I like is that the other gods of destruction and their universes, like Universe 5 and all of them that are exempt because, you know, their mortal level is high or whatever. Those four universes, they was given their two cents too or whatever. And they respect, respect the rebrand. So, I mean, it, I, I, it was great to finally see them talk or whatever because they don't have a stake in the game. They can just... Uh, they can just be chilling up there, you know what I'm saying, sipping on some wine, getting high or whatever, doing whatever they need to do. Uh, just, you know, they just watching a, a, a battle royale, you know. So it was really nice to see them, um, you know, join in in a conversation, which another thing that I did like about this episode. But uh, going back to the fight or whatever, you know, I was like, wow, you know, they, re you know, Frieza really did turn. And, he, you know, he's teaching them techniques or whatever. And he was like, I got one more thing to teach you. And I was like, what? And he was like, don't trust no. But I was like, yes. And he blasted him out. And I'm just like, you know, whoa, that was unexpected. I was like, wow, Frieza is really down for the cause or whatever. And at the very beginning of the Tournament of Power, I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe they're bringing Frieza in. This is crazy. And I, I was I was annoyed at first. I was like, I'm tired. Frieza don't need to come back no more. Just kill him. Leave him alone. But he really has been a strong player in this Tournament of Power. And I really have enjoyed his presence. So great job there. Uh, free uh, writers for including Frieza. You know, he really is a good villain. But I was, you know, I'm gonna go back to the episode. I'm gonna go back to what happened. But I, I was also saying before, like, you know, I don't want Frieza to turn into a good guy because that's what the Z fighters are known for is they take, you know, all their enemies, you know, they end up fighting on their side, like, you know, Piccolo, uh, Tien, Vegeta, uh, Cell, no, uh, Majin Buu. You know, and I think that's it. But, you know, I kind of want Frieza to stay a villain, you know. Um, but I, I say that for another thing. And what was crazy was, you know, he was just talking mess to Frost up there. He was like, man, you really think that I'm going to team up with your amateur butt? Because I was kind of thinking that, too, because they're just on completely different levels of whatever in power. And Frost, you know, was in his feelings. He was butthurt and tried to blast him. And Zen Zeno saw him. I was like, oh, no, erase erase you you know I squish i was like man you know that was really surprising and say like, if you do it again we'll erase the whole universe so I was, that was like i was like whoa you know so that was just nice or whatever but they just so damn powerful or whatever frost that's your fault you erase you ain't ever coming back dude you are out of there so uh 
you know, good riddance, you know, and guys, you know, this was a nice episode or whatever. And, you know, we're not going to have no episode next week. There's going to be a break. But the week after that, we finally get to see it. Goku versus Jiren. It's going to be a double episode. We're going to. Oh, I was about to spoil something. I don't want to spoil it because I tune into the spoilers and they don't really be spoiling stuff. They just kind of give you more a better description, you know, in words, you know, in the print and the uh, TV magazines over in Japan. But I won't spoil it here. But the preview looks freaking awesome. So we got a break next week. Then we get to finally get to see Goku versus Ribbian, Goku versus Jiren. And it's going to be dope, man. And I really did enjoy this episode. Um, you know, so, um, you know, it was live. It, this was one of the best ones or whatever. So they're, they're doing good. And, you know, the tournament, you know, there was some episodes at the very beginning of this tournament that I just didn't care for. I mean, I was so pissed off when uh, Khalifa, no, not when Kel, uh walked with Goku's Kamehameha and Super Saiyan Blue. That was just ridiculous. But we still got 29 minutes to go. In this tournament so there's a lot of time left for whatever for them just to really showcase the true power of all these characters and i'm just super excited man uh how you see that dragon ball super i'm super excited but anyway but guys that is just my opinion for dragon ball super episode 108 what did you think about the episode did you like it did you hate it did it turn you on did it turn you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't like the video that's fine just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this video on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get all the content that i have to provide you can click the bell be notified when i make uploads you can also go to my website check me out there i do have written reviews of movies that do come out each week you can bookmark the website or guys or also you can look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it easier for you guys by providing a link to all that in the description box down below so guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction slash recap for dragon ball super episode 108 frost and freezer the conjoined malice and before you go guys don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace